Thanks, I got donuts. Oh, thanks, baby. Um, mom and water donuts. They're good, Jeffy. Well, of course you would say nuts are good. You're a girl. Well, Jeffy, don't say that. They have nothing to do with nuts. Then why are they called donuts? What? I don't know. Are they made out of nuts? No. Are they made out of dough? Yeah, like 100% dough. Okay, so then where did the nuts come in at? Did the chef rub his nuts all over them? Jeffy, don't say that. No, no one rubbed their nuts on them. Well, do they look like a nut sack? No. Well, then show me. Baby, show them. Okay, Jeffy, look. Look, 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 look what they look like. Danny, that looks nothing like a nut sack. See, I told you, it has nothing to do with nut sacks. It's, it's just dough. Look, look, call them dough circles. Well, I think they look like big Cheerios. But that's what they are. They're really big Cheerios, and they're really good. You should have some. Oh, okay, Danny, I'm going to give me a Big Cheerio. Which one do I want? Um, Danny, why is this Big Cheerio gold? What? Baby, did you order a golden donut? No, I don't know how that got in there. Why did we get a golden donut? Look, Marvin, let's watch TV. Hey there. Do you like donuts? If you do, go buy a box of donuts. And if you find the golden donut, you'll win a lifetime supply of free donuts. Go buy them now. Wow, we really just want a lifetime supply of donuts. We're going to get so fat, Marvin. Um, actually, I won the lifetime supply of donuts because I found the golden donut. But I bought them, Jeffy. But baby, don't argue. Look, we're not going to claim that prize because that's so unhealthy. We don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. You're right, Marvin. Well, then can I go claim the prize? No, Jeffy. Jeffy, we don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. That's so unhealthy. <sighs> oh, man, Danny. All right, well, if you need me, I'll be in my room just eating these donuts and not going to go claim the prize for a lifetime supply of donuts and become the donut king or anything. Yep, do if you need me. I'll be in my room, Danny. Okay, Jeffy. Hear ye, hear ye. I am the ruler of the donuts. I am the Donut King. Whoa, Jeffy, how'd you get so many donuts? Well, Junior, I found this golden donut, and I want a lifetime supply of donuts, and now every time I want some, they send me hundreds of them, because I'm the Donut King. Well, can I get a donut? No, Junior, I'm sorry, but if I give one to you, I'll have to give one to all the peasants. Oh, you, you just have hundreds of them, so I thought I could probably have one. Hmm. Well, how about this, Junior? If you want a donut from the King, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something cool for a donut. Uh, well, can I just give you money? No, I don't want money, Junior. I want something cool. Uh, what can I trade you for a donut? Um, ooh, I know, I got something. How about this? It's a megaphone. It makes you talk really loud. Give me shit. Beep. All right, Junior, you got yourself a trade. You may pick out one donut. Yay, I get a donut! This thing is so pee -pee. Uh. I feel so sick from eating donuts. I ate way too many donuts. See, that's exactly why we weren't going to claim the lifetime of supply of donuts, because they just make you feel so awful after you eat them. Ugh. Look, Marvin, the news! Uh. Breaking news, okay? There's a worldwide donut shortage ever since this kid won a lifetime supply of donuts and requested that all of them be brought to his donut kingdom. <gasps> he didn't. Jeffy, we told you not to claim those donuts. Jeffy! Yes, father? We told you not to claim those donuts. Bow to the king. What? Bow to the king. I'm not bowing to you. Bow king. No, Jeffy. Marvin, maybe we should just bow and get it over with. I'm not bowing to him. Danny, your shoe's untied. Thanks for bowing to the king. Well, I didn't bow to you. Mommy, your toes are untied. What? Wait, don't, don't. Thanks for bowing to the king. Oh, we did not bow to you, Jeffy. Look, we're getting rid of all these donuts. Danny, we can't get rid of my donuts because I'm the donut king and this is my donut kingdom. Jeffy, I told you not to claim those donuts. Danny, you don't get a lifetime supply of donuts and not claim them. Well, look, Jeffy, look, we're going to get rid of all these donuts right now, okay? Please leave the kingdom. I'm not, I'm not leaving. There's not a kingdom. Guard! Yes, my liege. I requested that they leave the donut kingdom, and they're not leaving. Leave the donut kingdom. It's not a kingdom, it's a bed full of donuts in my house. The king wants you to leave. He's not even a king, that's a Burger King crown. Look, leave or you'll be sorry. What are you gonna do about it, dolphin boy? Okay, that's racist, and if you don't leave, I'm gonna give you a tail whooping. A, a, a dolphin tail whooping. I'm gonna whoop you with my tail, is what I'm saying. <sighs> Baby, let's just get out of here. They're a bunch of bullies! Oh, look, look, look at that. On the TV, Karen, there's a donut shortage, huh? How about that? No, Brady, I don't Great. I'm carrying my phone's ringing. No, buddy, you gotta cuddle with me! It's cuddle time! It's cuddle time, it's answer the phone time, Karen! Get, get off of me, get to answer the phone. Hello? Wait, wait really? What? The chief? What? Oh my god. Okay, I'll be right over. Buddy, what's going on? It's the chief. He's dying. Oh no! Chief! Chief, what's going on? 
I'm dying, guy. No, 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 don't, don't, don't say that. What's wrong? Wrong right here. Oh, Dr. Something Wong. What is wrong? Wong a girl. No, no, I mean, what's wrong with him? Oh, he dying. He dying real fast. He donut blood sugar be going and crash. He need donut. He need donut right now. Really, sir? You need a donut? Yeah, guy. Whenever you become the chief of police, you have to have a donut every 24 hours or else you die. Oh, no. But, but chief, the donuts are sold out all over the world. Ever since that damn kid had to go and win that stupid contest. Well, guy, it looks like I'm gonna die then. Tell my wife I was cheating on her. No, no, sir. You're gonna tell her that yourself because you're gonna make it. You, you really think so, guy? I know so, sir. I'm gonna get a donut. Well, you better hurry because the heart rate monitor video only four minutes long. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna hurry right now. I'll go. Hurry up, damn it. Marvin. What? Ever since Jeffy kicked you out of Donut Kingdom, you've been angrily eating those baked beans. Yeah, I like baked beans. When I'm stressed out, I eat baked beans. It's my new thing. Every character has a thing. My new thing is baked beans. It's a little weird. No, every character has a favorite food. Like, you know, like Woody, like shrimp, and Shrek, like cheesecake. I, I like baked beans. That, that's my thing now. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello. Oh, hey, 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 is your son who won all the donuts here? Yeah, he's upstairs in his donut kingdom. His what? His donut kingdom. Ever since he won all those donuts, he made a kingdom in his room. Uh, okay, well, I really, really need one of those donuts. Well, so does everyone in the world. They made a line outside his room. What? Really? Yeah, there's a line. So if you want a donut, just go join the line. Okay. Oh, come on, this line is ridiculous! I know, tell me about it. I've been here for 45 minutes. But 45 minutes? What? Hey, 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 Pooby. Hey, Pooby, let me skip you. What? No! Come on! Okay. Hey, hey, Logan. Logan, let, let me get in front of you. No! Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I can see why the movie never came out. Yeah, you guys were too busy waiting in line for donuts. Wait, is that Elena? El Elena! Can I get in front of you? No! Uh, the SML crew sucks! I'm disliking all your videos. Hey, hey, Pooby, how's your bum arm? Oh, ha, ha! Okay, this sucks. I'm gonna go talk to the guard. I've been in line for 30 minutes. What's taking so long? Sorry, ma'am. The Donut King is very busy. You'll just have to be patient. <sighs> okay. Coming through. Sorry, sorry. Oh, hey, no me. skipping. Oh, come on. You play like one character. Uh, I play two characters. I play your wife, Blighty. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Don't even start. Hey, man, no skipping. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm a cop. I'm, I'm an officer of the law. Don't you have like a donut line skip pass? No, no. You'll just have to wait in line like everybody else. What? Hey, what's that? Where? Nice try. All right, send the next one in. All right, next. Oh, me, 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 me. Hey! I said next. Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I was next. Just don't ask anybody else. Okay, can I have a donut now? Bow to the king. What? what? Bow to the king. Oh, oh, yes, 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 your highness. Anything for a donut. Oh, okay, can I have one? If you want a donut from the king, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something for, for a donut. Well, okay, I have cash. Can I just give you that? No, I want something cool for a donut. But, uh, okay, I, look, look, man, I have a 20. How about I just give you a 20? No, you gotta trade me something cool. See, I got, like, this pocket bowling game. I got this megaphone. I got a flashlight and a stapler. You gotta trade me something cool if you want a donut. Okay, so just, like, junk? No, something cool. I don't... Okay, okay, look, man. My boss is dying, okay? And he, he if he doesn't get a donut, he's gonna die, all right? So I really need... Bird! Do you not have a heart? Bored. What? I don't know what to get. Uh, you can have my hat. Do you want my hat? I'll give you my hat. No, I already have a crown that says Burger King. What? Okay, well, maybe my tie? I'll give you my whole outfit. No, you gotta trade me something or else leave the kingdom. Well, I don't have anything to trade. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what to get. Just give me a damn donut. Leave the kingdom. What? No, no, I need... Leave the kingdom. No, I'm gonna take a donut. Guard! Oh, oh, don't call him. He's Guard! already, already pissed. Hey, what's up, your highness? Kick him out of the kingdom. Oh, good. He skipped in line anyway. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. And stay out. I don't want to see your face in the Donut Kingdom ever again. Well, well fine. I, I don't want to be in this stupid Donut Kingdom anyway. It's stupid and dumb. I, I do really need a donut, though. Where am I going to get one? Oh, oh, Karen. She's not banned. Yeah, I'll just get her. Okay, okay, Karen. Here, take this. Go, go. Boy, well, I don't understand what you're trying to get me to do here. It's very simple, Karen. I just needed to take this Dig Dug machine into the Donut Kingdom and give it to the Donut King in exchange for a donut. But, Boyney, I don't understand why you don't just go to the store to get a donut! What, Karen, don't you think if it was that simple, I would have done it already? They're sold out everywhere. Haven't you seen the news? Boyney, I'm sorry that I'm not as obsessed with donuts as you are. I'm not obsessed with donuts, Karen. Hey, kitty. Oh, it's a Kit Kat! Oh, 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 oh. Boyney, this is crazy! Well, it's not crazy, Karen. Just go talk to the dolphin. Boyney, do you understand how ridiculous the 
this sounds. Listen to what you're telling me to do. <gasps> you need me to talk to a dolphin to get to the donut kingdom to trade the dig dug machine for a donut from the donut king to get to the doctor to give you a dime boss on his deathbed. Yes. Can you do it? Okay, Boiny, but this just sounds crazy. Okay, here, take it, go. Oh, why is she taking so long? Hey, Boiny, I got your donut. Oh, Karen, you got the donut. Wait, wait, why is there a bite taken out of it? Oh, I got hungry on the way out. Oh, Karen, I guess, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. It's fine, but wait, wait where's your dress? Oh, uh, I really wanted to keep the ding dong machine, Boiny. <laughs> Good choice. All right, Karen, you got the donut. I can save my boss. He better hurry. Chief, Chief, I got the donut. Ah, oh, you're too late. He died. No! Alright, hold on. Let me just restart the video. Guy, <gasps> uh, chief, chief, quick, eat the donut. Oh, guy, you saved my life. I'd do anything for you, sir. Ew! All right, Daddy. I gave away all my donuts. What, you gave away all your donuts? I sure did. So the donut kingdom is no more. What, what'd you trade for all your donuts? Well, someone traded me a Ferrari for all my donuts. A Ferrari for all your donuts? Yep. Well, you know what? I I'm glad. You don't need that many donuts anyway. Those are unhealthy. You need to eat something healthy like baked beans. Ew. What? Baby! Look what I just found! I found the golden baked bean! You know what that means? Baked beans for the rest of my life! Oh no! All hail the baked bean king! Who wants to trade me a Ferrari for all my baked beans? No. Jeffy, are you ready for school? Sure am, Daddy. What, Jeffy, what'd you do to your shirt? I cut it up because I wanted it to look like Swiss cheese. Jeffy, you can't go to school like that. Yeah, they're going to send you home for having holes in your shirt. Darn, didn't know that was going to happen. You're still going to school, Jeffy. But I don't have a shirt to wear. Sure you do, Jeffy. I got you this shirt for Christmas. It has a turtle on it, and it says, Turtly cool! Oh, that's so sick, Mommy. I want to put it on right now. <laughs> All right, Mommy. How do I look? You look turtly cool, Jeffy. Damn right I do. All right, Jeffy. Let's go to school. Danny, everyone's going to be so jealous of my new shirt. I'm going to pull major hose. Oh, that's good, Jeffy. Come on. Hey, idiot, what happened to your old shirt? Did you wipe your butt with it? You're just jealous you don't have a cool shirt that has words on it. Oh, yeah? What's it say? It actually says, turtle and cool, and it has a little turtle with sunglasses on it. <laughs> it should say that you're returned or, or returned. Yeah, that's it. You're returned. <laughs> My mommy told me that I was turtle and cool. <laughs> Your mommy dresses you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want this stupid shirt anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> calm down, Incredible Hulk. Well, wait a minute. You don't have any nipples. Hey, everybody. Jeffy doesn't have nipples. <laughs> it's not my fault I was born without nipples. <laughs> 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 Jeffy, why'd you take your shirt off? Because I thought that shirt was going to make girls give me major treatment, but all it did was get me made fun of. They made fun of your shirt, Jeffy? Yeah, because apparently it's not cool to be turtly cool. They called me retarded. <laughs> Marvin. That's funny. Those kids are just mean, Jeffy. Well, I'm never wearing that shirt ever, 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 ever again. That's okay, Jeffy. I got you another shirt, and it says, Mommy really loves me, and it has two whales hugging. You really want me to get made fun of, don't you, Mommy? Oh, it's it's cute, Jeffy. Is it going to make girls turn into bobbleheads? I don't know about that, Jeffy, but go ahead and put it on. Okay, Mommy. I'll wear it tomorrow, but it better not get me made fun of. <laughs> I see you got your old shirt back. Wait, that's not your old shirt. That's a new shirt. What's it say? Nothing. I want to know what your shirt says. No. No, show me your shirt. I'm not showing you my shirt. What does your shirt say? It says, my mommy Whaley loves me and it has a whale on it. <laughs> my mommy Whaley loves me? That's Whaley lame. Well, at least my mommy loves me. <laughs> well, what, is your mommy a whale? Hey, everybody, Jeffy's mom's a whale. <laughs> yeah, your mom's a whale. Shut up, Cody. Your mom's a whale. <sighs> I was just really glad the joke wasn't about me for once. <laughs> you gonna go to the ocean and see your mommy? Mm, that's it! I'm tired of this! <laughs> <laughs> what, are you gonna go kiss your mom's big whale lips? <laughs> it happened again! They made fun of your shirt again, Jeffy? Yeah, and they called you a whale, mommy! What? <laughs> Marvin! You eat a lot of Cheetos, baby. Marvin! Oh, look, uh, Jeffy, your mom got you another shirt. I did! 
It says hanging with mommy and has two slots. Oh, absolutely not. I'm done with shirts. They want to bully me? I'm going to become the bully now. Oh, this is not going to be good. Hey, loser, what's with the new look? Your balls finally drop? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off! No! No, no, stop! Stop! No! No! Oh, no! He, he pulled my underwear up over my face! Oh, God, I have doo-doo stains on it! This is so gross and embarrassing! I'm gonna get paid, guy! Anyone else want some? Huh? Cody called your mom a whale. What, Junior? What, no, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yes, Daddy. Uh, he gave me a wedgie. Should have pulled harder. Ha ha, Cody! You have rainbow pony underwear? Junior, they're not underwear, they're panties. Oh my god, I have those! Can I smell them? Ew, no, Junior, you're gross! Jeffy, stop worrying everyone! Go to the principal's office now! Jeffy, what are you doing? Jeffy, 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 Oh, Jeffy, why do you pull my underwear over my face? Ew, I got doodle stain! Ring ring doesn't do my laundry! Ah! Hey, Jeffy, how was school? Shut up, nerd! Jeffy! What'd you call me? Nerd, because you are one! What, what, what are you doing? Jeffy, what are you doing? <laughs> he, he put my underwear on my face! Jeffy! That is it, Jeffy, you are grounded! Oh, you're, you're gonna ground me? I'm gonna show you grounded! What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Giving you a swirling, nerd! Wait, what? Jeffy, if you put my head in that toilet, you would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffy, dear God, please help me! <laughs> you had enough yet? <laughs> I've had enough, I've had enough! All right. <laughs> Marvin, what's wrong? Jeffy gave me a swirly. He what? He put my head in the toilet. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because he's a nerd. Jeffy, that's not how we act. We treat others the way we want to be treated. Well, everyone wants to bully me, so now I'm going to be the bully. So no one mess with me! Marvin, what do we do? I'm calling the cops. He assaulted me with my underwear and a toilet. Hey there, somebody call the police? I heard an old lady say that at the barber shop today. She called me the police. I like that. I'm gonna say that from now on. Police. So what do you need? My son is bullying me. He gave me a swirly and he put my underwear over my eyes. <laughs> classic. Not classic, he's assaulting me. Well, I know how to deal with that kind of situation. You do? Oh yeah, I used to get bullied a lot in high school. Let me tell you a story. I always get bullied by this guy named Trevor. He used to call me names like Braceface, you know, because I wore braces at the time. And he used to pull my pants down in front of all the cheerleaders. And they would all laugh at me and say, ha ha, tiny. So one day, I decided to get revenge on him by pulling his pants down in front of the cheerleaders. And boy, did that backfire, because he was was hung like a horse. All the girls liked him, even Miss Jenkins. I, I, I had a crush on her. She was kind of a hot teacher. But anyway, me and Trevor became friends after that because I helped him get so many girls by pulling his pants down. So I guess the moral of this story is what you should do is pull Jeffy's pants down in class. No, that don't do that. That's not right. That's that's not what I meant at all. Okay, okay, okay. Better example, better example. Okay. I also used to get bullied by this guy named Travis. Now, Travis was a real freak. He put a wasp nest in my backpack. So whenever I opened my backpack, a bunch of wasps flew out and they started stinging me. So I ran around the classroom taking my clothes off. And then everybody just pointed at me and laughed and said, ha ha, tiny. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So the next day, I put a wasp nest in his backpack. And then when he opened his backpack, he got stung by wasps and he ran around the class taking his clothes off. And boy, did that backfire because he was pissed. Hacking. All the girls liked him, oh yeah. Except we didn't become friends because he was pissed that I put a wasp nest in his backpack. So the moral of this story is you should put a wasp nest in Jeffy's backpack. No, don't, don't do that either. That was, okay, that sucks too. Okay, 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 okay. But last example, this one's gonna be good. This will make sense, I promise. Okay, so I also used to get bullied by this guy named Trent, and we rode the bus together. So what he would do was put gum in my hair, which sucked because then I'd have to shave my head to get the gum out, and then everybody would laugh at me and say, ha ha, baldy, and also tiny, you know, because they remembered from when I got pantsed and the whole thing with the wasps. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So what I did was I put gum in his hair, and he had to shave his head. And then the next day, he got hit by a car, and I felt kind of bad. So I went to visit him in the ICU, and I walked in when they were changing his body cast, and he was packing. I mean, all of the nurses wanted to help him. So the moral of this story is, you should push Jeffy in front of a car. No, 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 don't. Oh, man, I'll, I'll admit, I, I, I'm not the right guy for this. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 let me just talk to him, and I'll explain to him why bullying people is wrong. Oh, okay. Hey, champ, what are you doing? Writing hate comments on SML videos. Oh, but they work so hard. But they won't bring back their plushies. No, well, they can't do that. Uh, look, I wanted to talk to you about something. What do you want, loser? Oh, okay, so you're already starting with the name calling. Now, I know the only reason you're doing that is because you're just lashing out because you don't know how else to express yourself. Well, you're ugly. Okay, that one kind of hurt a little bit. But look, what I wanted to say is that I used to be just like you. I, I mean, I wasn't cross-eyed like that, but I, I did get bullied a lot. You did? Oh, yeah, I get bullied all the time. And you know how I got over it? I found out that everybody was packing. 
I don't really know why. But then, when I grew up, I became a cop, so I can bully whoever I want. It's my job to bully people. You going too fast? Boom! Speeding ticket. Speeding tickets are my swirlies. So, wh what I'm trying to say is I know that deep down, you know that bullying is wrong, right? <laughs> well, that didn't work. Oh no, he did it to you too? Yeah, the only thing I learned here is I gotta start wiping better. Well, what do we do now, officer? Yeah, what do we do? I don't know. He's probably just going through a phase. I'm sure he'll grow out of it, or he'll end up in prison. He might be packing. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. No, don't go. We need your help. We really need your help. Well, I've done everything I can do, and I don't want my face to end up in your toilet again. Look, I have an idea that'll, that'll get him to stop bullying people. Wait, really? Yeah, let me show you. Well, I won't be able to see it, because I got underwear in my eyes. <laughs> Thank you, but I would wash my hands if I were you. All right, we're all gonna wear these shirts, and when Jeffy sees them, he's gonna bully us for wearing these shirts, and he's gonna realize he's became what he hated most, being a bully. I hate this shirt. I look like a dingus. Aw, it's cute. Hanging with mommy. I hate my mother. I would never hang with her. I also hate sloths. They're all lanky and they're creepy and I hate them. Look, you only have to wear the shirt for like a few minutes for Jeffy to see you. Yeah, so he can make fun of us and then shove my face in the toilet again and then put my poopy underwear in my face? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. No, he's gonna realize that he's a bully and he's not gonna wanna be a bully anymore. Jeffy, get in here! What do you losers want? Don't hurt me! Oh god, no, please! Well, just, 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 look at our shirts! Look at our shirts! Turtly cool? That's retarded. Well, look, Jeffy, look. You just bullied me the same way you used to get bullied in school. <gasps> You're right. What have I become? I've become the same thing I swore to destroy. I'm like Darth Vader. Diaper. Diaper. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't want to be a bully. I was just tired of people bullying me. It's okay, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, as long as you promise you won't bully anyone ever again. Yeah, Daddy, I won't bully anyone ever again. <laughs> I bet you're not even packing. Oh, no, I totally am. I got a wiener like a Coke can. Damn it. Junior, there's this new TV show called Blue's Clues, and we have to watch it. It's about this blue dog that, like, solves crimes, and there's this guy who can jump inside paintings, and he can talk to food seasonings, and sometimes he even gets mail and he can talk to it. That's not a real show. Junior, I promise it is. Well, I want to watch it. Uh, help me find the remote. Okay. Where's the TV remote at? Where is it? What? Mm -hmm. Junior, the TV's turning off and on. Oh. I got what? It. I'm Why is it doing that? Is my house possessed by ghosts? Oh, dude, I'm scared. Oh, 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 oh no, there's a ghost in the house. Yeah, that's strange. It's Dave. Wait, wait, stop. I'm writing a letter wait, to Okay, well, maybe it was just a glitch in the TV. Yeah. Alright, let's find the remote. What? Wait, 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 look, now the volume's going out. What? It has to be a ghost. Wait, 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 Jeffy, is there a remote in your pants? No, I'm just rocking a full solid right now. Some people tuck it in their waistband, but I tuck mine in my collar. Wait, hold on. It is in your pants, Jeffy! Oh, honest mistake. I thought it was something else. All right, Cody, I'm gonna switch to the channels. Tell me when you find the show. Okay. Ooh, wait, Junior, the news! Breaking news, okay? Floyd Mayweather has made $100 million fighting Logan Paul. What? That guy got $100 million just to fight someone? I'll fight someone for $100 million. Dude, I'll punch Cody for $100 million. I'll punch Cody for $100 million. Ow! Where's my hundred million dollars? Where's my hundred million dollars? Yeah, that's like three hundred million dollars right there. Guys, nobody is gonna pay you a hundred million dollars just to hit me. Well, that guy got a hundred million dollars to hit someone. Well, that's because he's a professional boxer and he won fifty times. I'll fight fifty people for a hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah. So, so if I record Jeffy fighting fifty people, will he get a hundred million dollars? No, because he's not a boxer. Well, the Paul guy's not a boxer. He got money. Oh, well, I guess that's true. Wait, so, so if I record Jeffy knocking out fifty people, they'll give us a hundred million dollars. Well, I mean, if you show him the video, he might accept a fight. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, Jeffy, I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna record you knocking out 50 people. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I got my phone. Jeffy, you ready to knock some people out? Yeah, let's do it. Who's he gonna knock out first, Junior? Uh, Joseph, you up first. Wait, why me? I don't wanna get knocked out. Because, Joseph, we have to knock out 50 people. That's a lot of people. And plus, Jeffy's gonna split the money, right? Yeah, because you guys are helping me. That's $100 million split four ways. That's $25 million. You're saying you're not gonna get knocked out for $25 million? <sighs> I guess. All right, so I want you and Jeffy to fight, all right? <laughs> Round one, fight. <laughs> Oh, oh, he got knocked out. Oh, how's it feel to win? Oh, it feels great. First round TKO, totally called it. Oh, yeah, you're gonna fight someone else next. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna go fight Chef Peepy, all right? All right, let's do it. Oh, my God, this looks so good. Oh, I think it's missing a few more goldfish. Hey, Chef Peepy. Junior, why are you recording me? <laughs> oh, oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. Oh, oh, how's it feel to win again? Feels great, totally called it. Two times in a row, two KOs. Yeah, two and oh, two and oh. Oh, how'd you feel? 
about that? Well, it didn't really seem fair. He didn't even see it coming. You gotta watch out for that left hook. It's really powerful. W while you're cooking? Yep, even while you're cooking. The first rule of boxing is always be prepared. Well, who's, who's he gonna knock out now, Junior? Uh, call your parents. Well, I'm not letting him knock out my parents. You're not gonna be letting him knock out your parents. It's up to you if your parents can fight or not. Well, my mom is pretty scrappy. Look, call your parents, and we're gonna knock him out right at the door. He can get two in one fight. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey there. Cody said we should come over. Hey, you recording us? Because I don't consent. I got a warrant. Oh, I've always wanted to be on television. Hello, world. My name is Judy. I'm single. What'd you say, woman? All right, Jeffy, go, go, go. Ding, ding. <laughs> Ain't nobody can hit my woman but me. Ding, ding. <laughs> oh, 4-0. Oh, 4-0. No. Oh, defeated. Oh, defeated. Jeffy, how's it feel to be 4-0 undefeated? Amazing, Junior! Uh, are my parents okay? I didn't want to watch. Oh, they drop like flies. Uh, well, can we at least knock out your parents now? Or at least your dad, since you don't have a mom? Cody, trust me. If I had a mom, I'd knock her out for $25 million. Well, Junior, do you really think it's worth all the money to give 50 people brain damage? Yeah. It's $25 million, Cody. <laughs> all right, Jeffy, you're gonna knock out my dad next, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm getting high! <laughs> look guys, look at how high I am! <laughs> oh, Charlie, you're so funny! Alright, Jeffy, there's my dad in bed. I want you to put him to sleep. You want me to read him a bedtime story first? Yeah, read him the three little pigs. Alright. When the first little piggy built his house out of straw, and the second little piggy built his house out of bricks, and the third little piggy just hired me to stand outside of his house. Man, what are you guys doing in here? <laughs> oh! 5 and 0! Oh, 5 and 0 oh, oh, undefeated, champion undefeated! Oh, Woo! 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 Did he knock out your dad? Oh, yeah, he put him to sleep. That night, night. <laughs> He gave him that one piece with no honey mustard. No biscuit, no drink, he got ripped off. Well, who are you gonna knock out next? Anyone who steps in front of me? Well, well, Jeffy, you kind of been knocking out nobodies. Nobody's gonna think you're a real fighter. You need to knock out like a celebrity, somebody that everybody knows. But what celebrity is gonna let you knock him out? Uh, my dad was watching Charlie and Friends. What if he knocks out Charlie from Charlie and Friends? What, you really think he'd let you do that? Yeah, we just gotta find him. Well, I'm pretty sure he records his episodes in your house, so let's just go downstairs and get him. All right, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, you're about to do your first celebrity boxing match. How do you feel? Feeling good, Junior. About to go 6-0. How are you feeling? Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. Where's the crowd from? Wait, why do you have a box? Oh, I thought we were boxing. <laughs> All right, guys. And fight! Uh-oh. No, you just knocked out Charlie and friends. Well, he knocked out Charlie, not all his friends. Oh, Jeffy, you should have knocked out all of Charlie's friends. That would have been a lot of people. Oh, man. Well, who are you going to knock out now, Jeffy? Hmm. Well, we haven't knocked out my mommy and daddy yet. Oh, yeah, let's go fight your mom and dad. Well, let's do it. Th these aren't really fights. He's just kind of hitting people. It doesn't matter. He's undefeated. They could always hit him back. They're choosing not to fight back. Come on. Marvin, didn't I do a good job making dinner tonight? Yep, you did a really good job putting these pizza rolls in the oven for 15 minutes. Aw, thank you. Jeffy, time for dinner. Wait, Jeffy, why do you have boxing gloves on? Ding, ding, pop. What? Jeffy, you can't hit her like that. Ding, ding, pop. Ah! Woo! Woo! Jeffy is now 8 no. Who can beat me? Who can beat me? I don't know, maybe somebody who can actually fight back? Well, Cody, you just sound jealous. Look, we only have to knock out 42 more people. What, what, before he gets life in jail? No, before he can fight Floyd Mayweather and get us $100 million. Well, Junior, there's no way we can show him knocking out 42 more people. That would take like an hour. Oh, you're right. We need a montage. It's montage time! How many people did he knock out, Junior? I think he's 31 and 0. Oh great, he only needs 19 more. Jeffy, huh? do it. Okay. <clears throat> Ow! Do you give up? Yes! Oh, 32 and 0! <sighs> great, now you only need 18 more. Where are we gonna find 18 more people to knock out? Breaking news! Okay, there is a crazy lunatic that is running around and punching people in the face. If you see this man, call 911 immediately. Oh. Ugh. 
Ugh, 33 and no. Oh my god, Jeffy. Now you only need 17 more and you can fight Floyd Mayweather. Junior, didn't you see the news? He's wanted by the police. You have to stop this. Well, no, we just have a few more and we can fight Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Junior, that's not gonna happen. <gasps> There's someone at the door. <gasps> Jeffy, come on. It might be Floyd Mayweather. You can knock him out. It's okay. not Floyd... Hello, Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, I'm looking for Jeffy. Oh no, it's the cops, Junior! Oh, you can't arrest us now, we're so close! Okay, so he is the one who's been knocking people out. Yeah, but it's for a good reason, don't arrest us. Oh, I'm not here to arrest you, I'm here to thank you. See, one of the people he knocked out happened to be my wife, and I've been wanting to do that for years. God, she is so annoying. But, uh, why did you knock out my wife? Oh, uh, well, because we want to fight Floyd Mayweather and be like him. Oh, well, I guess that's one way to do it. I mean, he knocked out his wife, and now he's got millions of dollars. Exactly, so we thought if we could knock out 50 people on camera, Floyd Mayweather would fight us for $100 million. Oh, well, I mean, if you need to knock out somebody else, uh, if I get knocked out on duty, I get to go home, and I get a purple heart. So, uh, so Jeffy can knock you out? Yeah, sure. I do, Jeffy. All right, sweet. Ah! 34 and ah! 34, no! 34, no! Who was at the door, Junior? Was it Floyd Mayweather? No, it was a cop, and Jeffy knocked him out. He did what? Okay, Junior, this has gone too far. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. You have to be a part of it. You're next to be knocked out. No, I already got hit. Well, well you have glasses, so you're like two, you have two sets of eyes, so you count as two people. What? No, no, Junior, it's your turn to get knocked out. But that's gonna hurt. I don't want to get hit. Well, yeah, of course it's gonna hurt, Junior, but you have to do it. Uh, no, um, I could find 16 more people. Um, where can I find 16 more people? Uh... Mm. Oh, the people watching this video. Oh, oh, yeah. You can knock them out. All right, guys, everyone at home, put your nose up against the glass, okay, of your phone, of the TV, or the computer, whatever your watch is on. Put, put your nose up against the glass, and Jeffy's about to knock you out. All right. <laughs> oh! You just oh! got knocked out. You just got oh! knocked out. That's like a million and oh. Like, like, that's like a million or two million and oh. However many views this video got, that's how many people Jeffy just knocked out. Oh, yeah, Junior. And if you hit the like button, that means you just got back up and it didn't hurt and you're awesome and you have a lot of friends. But if you hit the dislike button, it means you have no friends. Yeah, if you hit the dislike button, that means you got knocked out and you have no friends. And you're and, not cool. And you're not cool. So if you hit the dislike button, um, you're dumb. But if you hit the like button, that means you got back up and you said that didn't hurt at all, right? Oh, yeah, for sure, Junior. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think we have all the proof we need to fight. Floyd Mayweather. So, so let's call Steve Staleberger and get this fight set up and show him, show him all the footage I got. Oh, let's do it. Hello? Hello, it's me, Steve Staleberger. <laughs> Maybe he'll get up soon, Jeffy. That was some hit, kid. <laughs> what, Jeffy? You're not supposed to hit him again. Now it's going to take forever for him to wake up. Oh, oh, those, those were some hit, kid. Oh. So why'd you call me? Well, me and Jeffy went around and I recorded him knocking out as many people as I could. He knocked out like 30 people on camera, but then he knocked out a million people around the world. He knocked out a million people? Yep, and he's never been defeated, so we want to fight Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Hmm, well, Floyd Mayweather's retired. What, retired? Why? Well, he just did his last fight, so he's done. Yesterday's <laughs> news. Well, then who can we fight for $100 million? Well, you could fight D-Money. He's never lost. Oh, Jeffy could definitely knock him out, right? Yeah. Oh, I can take D-Money. Okay, but I have to warn you. D-Money has knocked out more people than just an unexpecting old man on your front doorstep. Well, it doesn't matter. Jeffy can knock out anyone. I've seen him knock out a lot of people. Okay, I'll set it up for tonight. And whoever wins gets $100 million. Oh, my God. Jeffy, you're about to fight D-Money for $100 million. Yeah. Woo! $100 oh, million. Yeah. Dollars. Hello, and welcome to Living Room Boxing. We couldn't get a boxing ring on such short notice, so we're doing it in the living room. In the left corner, my left, we have, with a record of 65 and 0, weighing at 180 pounds, D-Money. Oh, 65 and 0, 65 and 0, undefeated champion of the world, 100 million every fight, 100 million every night. In the right corner, my right, we have, with a record of 2 million and no, weighing at 110 pounds, Jeffy! Um, my balls itch, and I can't itch them with these gloves. All right, boxers, please meet in the middle of the living room. All right, gentlemen, we're going to have infinite rounds until somebody gets knocked out because that's what the world wants to see. All right, get ready, gentlemen. One, two, three, go! All right, man, you ready to go? Let's go, man. Ooh, ooh, look at you. You're about to get knocked out, too. Ooh, 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 just got it four times. Ooh, 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 again. You ain't want this. Ooh, 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 ooh. come on, man. Fight back. What you doing? Oh, man, stop trying to hook me, man. Give up. Ooh, what you doing? Ooh, whip, 
Where am I going? I'm over here. Oh, look at you right there. Oh, I'll stop me. Stop trying to hug me, man. Oh, hell, yeah, man. You trying to kiss me? Oh, 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 oh. Man, I'm getting tired. Oh, God. I can't believe what I'm seeing here, folks. Jeffy just defeated the undefeated, well, now defeated, D-Money. How's it feel, kid? You know, it feels great. Yeah, kind of warm out in the beginning. I uh, had, to, had to throw up some blocks. And then, uh, then I kissed him. He wasn't expecting that. So I felt like I got the upper hand on that one. And then uh, I finished him off with a strong uppercut in the end. And there he is. Well, Jeffy, you just won a hundred million dollars. Oh, yeah, that feels good, too. But uh, taxes sucks. So that's probably going to eat about half of that. But we'll be all right. Woo! Jeffy won a hundred million dollars. This is totally worth it. Woo! I'm just going to lay on my money all day. You mean my money? What, what are you doing here? Remember when he punched me in the face on the news? Uh, yeah. Well, my face is insured for over a hundred million dollars. So I'm suing you for a hundred million dollars. Oh man, we're gonna lose all this money that Jeffy just won. We just have to fight 50 more people so we can win this money again. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> Jeffy, they're still watching. Punch him in the face so we can win the money. All right. Man, Marvin, thanks for inviting me over. You know, I don't really have that many friends, so it's really great to just have a boys' night. Can you take your drink off the table? I don't want it to spill. Oh, yeah, sure, I will. Right after I make this shot. Okay, red ball in the corner pocket. Hey, Danny, what are you doing? <sighs> Marvin, get your kid. Jeffy, go away. We're trying to play pool. Can I play? No, we're having a boys' night. Well, I'm a boy. Well, we're having a big boys' night. I'm a big boy. Okay, then we're having a boys who have hair on their peepees night. Well, I got a bush like a porcupine. Well, okay, th th then we're having a boys who've had vasectomies night. Huh? Huh? Have you? Please? Jeffy, just go away. Well, what you trying to do? I am trying to hit the white ball and use it to knock the red ball into the pocket. Oh, that's easy. Oh yeah? You think that's easy? Well, it's not. Not for a kid like you, but it's easy for me because I'm a professional. Check this out. Damn it! Damn it! I can't, I can't believe I did that! I mean, I had a perfect shot! <sighs> breathe. Just breathe, Brooklyn guy. That's what my therapist says. I have to breathe whenever I get into situations like this. And I have to drink. I can't believe you missed that. That was super easy. Oh yeah? If you think it's so easy, why don't you do it? How about this? I'll give you ten bucks if you can make that shot. Okay, bet. Okay, bet. Hey, Danny, is this how I'm supposed to hold it? <laughs> Look at Stupid over here. He doesn't even know how to hold the stick. Jeffy, you're supposed to use the other side. I don't want to use the skinny side, Danny. The women prefer the big side. But, Jeffy, you're supposed no, to... No, no, no. Let him, let him do it like this. Let him look stupid. Go on, kid. Make the shot if it's so easy. All right, Jeffy. Look, you're supposed to hit this white ball to hit the red ball to go in here. All right, let me line it up. Mm. Well, ow, Jeffy, not me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're supposed to hit the balls, stupid. Don't you know what balls look like? You should have two of them. All right, well, let me try again. Yeah, yeah try, Jeffy, try it again. All right, let me line it up. And... <laughs> How'd you do that? Oh, man. I got all the balls in. I must not be that good at this game. No, are you kidding me? You're amazing. I've never seen anyone do that before. Oh, Jeffy, how did you do that? I just hit the ball with my stick. Well, th 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 that's got to be luck. I mean, th there's no way you could do that again. I can do it again. Really? D okay, well, let me set up the balls. I got to see this. All right, the balls are set up. If you can knock them all in in one shot again, I'll give you a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? He's not going to do it. <sighs> Jeffy, you got this? I got it, Daddy. Please. How is this possible? Like, is, is he some kind of pool shark? Did you know about this? Did you make me think he was bad at pool just so I bet money? I didn't know he was this good. Oh my god, we, we have a huge opportunity here. We could be rich. Well, how? Well, we could invite people over here to play pool against your son, right? And then we tell them that your son is bad at pool so they bet money that they can beat him. And then he just goes ape shit and gets all the balls in like he just did. And then we just rake in all the cash. That's an amazing idea, but how are we going to find people that want to verse Jeffy and pool? Oh, don't worry. Once I make a commercial, everyone's going to want to play him. Oh, okay, then go make the commercial. Yeah, I will. Um, where's my hundred bucks? Oh, yeah, the hundred bucks here. Um, let go of it. It's all I have. <clears throat> Please. Well, we're gonna make more money back. Okay, I guess you're right. Jeff, you're so good at pool. I know. Get out of the way, the commercial's about to come on. Hey, I was watching that. Hey, I was watching that. Oh my god, you're married to this? Oh, the commercial's on. 
Hey there, do you suck at pool? Well, not as much as this kid. Say the thing. I suck. See, he sucks. I've been killing this kid at pool. I bet him a hundred bucks that I could beat him. Go ahead, Jeffy, it's your turn. Okay. See that? He just pocketed the eight ball. What an idiot. Pay up. Okay. Here you go. Look, just like that, I made a hundred bucks. Playing this kid in pool is like printing money. So if you think you can beat this kid and you got a lot of money to spend, come on down and play this kid in pool. I guarantee you'll win. Yay, I was in a commercial. Damn, I look good on TV. I mean, I know they say the camera adds 10 pounds, but I think it's to my wiener area. Marvin, what was that commercial all about? Oh my God, does she ever stop talking? Nag, 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 nag. Baby, look, Jeffy's really good at pool, so he made a commercial saying he's bad at pool, so people will come play him and bet a lot of money, and then Jeffy will beat him and will make a lot of money. So you're going to con people out of their money? Aren't they going to get angry? <laughs> Can you even understand what she's saying? Oh my god, you're so rude. Like that, I got nothing there. Baby, look, what we're doing is completely legal and we're just having fun. We're going to make a little bit of cash. Marvin, you're going to exploit our son. Do you want me to like do something about her? Because I know a guy. I mean, I can... Baby, look, look just, just don't pay attention. Just, just watch your TV. Look, we're going to go make some money. Okay, fine. Good luck finding your channel now. When are the people gonna show up? Don't worry, they'll be here. The commercial was perfect. People are gonna wanna play pool. Hey, Daddy, look at my blue balls. Why is one of them purple? Because I squeezed it too much. Jesus. Look, it's been over an hour. Yeah, you're right, it has been a while. But I mean, why wouldn't people show up? I mean, that commercial was pretty good. Uh, we didn't put the address. What? We didn't put the address in the commercial. People don't know where to go. Oh yeah, you didn't put the address in the commercial. No, we didn't. So now people are just driving around looking for pool. Well, go edit the commercial and put the address. Well, I can't do that. It already aired. Well, we'll air it again. Well, I already spent $5,000 to air it that one time. Why was it so expensive? Because it's during a football game on a Sunday. It's prime time. What are we going to do then? We got to make our money. Well, I mean, I guess we could just put a sign on your front door in case somebody drives by. What are the odds that someone drives by the house looking for pool? Oh, believe me, they're going to be speeding by. Go make a sign. Okay. There, now people will know where to show up. Okay, good. Okay, now that the sign's up, all we have to do is sit here and wait for people to show up so we can make our money. Heck yeah. You know, sometimes I wish I could blink. My eyes are so dry. Mine too. I told you that sign would work. All right, what chump's ready to be destroyed and pull? Be okay, guy? Jonathan, what are you doing here? Why are you wearing a towel? Well, I saw the sign for a pool tournament, and I'm really good at swimming, so I thought there might be some really hot babes here that would go skinny dipping with me. Is your wife here? No, Jonathan, not that kind of pool. I meant like billiards, like the game. Well, I can play billiards. Oh, yeah? You have any money? Well, you know, but ooh, how about every time I miss a shot, I have to take off a piece of clothing? I'm really bad. No, Jonathan, get out of here. No. We're going to need a different sign. Yeah, it's really on there. There, now there won't be any confusion. Bingo, we got someone. All right, who wants it? Hello, would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? What, Girl Scout cookies? What the? Get in here and get your ass kicked in pool. Excuse me, what? You heard me, get in there. Are you going to buy some cookies? Well, yeah, if you win. Now, come on. Okay, so what are we doing? We're playing pool. Now, how much money you got? Um... Eight dollars. Eight dollars? How long have you been selling cookies today? Eight hours? Eight hours? That's only a dollar an hour. Let's hope you're better at pool than you are selling cookies. You know what? We're wagering these cookies, too. All right, Jeffy, let her break. Okay. Uh, so what do I do? You hit the ball with the stick. Haven't you played pool before? Hurry up. I don't feel good about this. Oh, come on, man. This is how we make money. And cookies. She's just a little girl. No, 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 no. She knew what she was getting herself into when she rang the doorbell. She wanted this. I think she was just trying to sell cookies. No way, man. She saw the sign and she thought she could con us. She doesn't want us to know that she's secretly good at pool. She's trying to do the same thing we're doing. But we're smarter than that. That's why we're going to win. Hurry up, punk. Okay. <laughs> Who is that? That sucked. You even know how to play? No. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. She's trying to con us. All right, Jeffy. Show her what you got. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, it's my boy right there. It's my boy. Are you eating the cookies? Yeah, I don't know we're going to win. All right. Prepare to lose. You suck! Oh, what's this? I'm gonna have one of your cookies. Um, 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 um. Oh, your cookies are so good. Oh, 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 your eight dollars. Yes. So what happened? What happened? You lost. That's what happened. Go back to pool school, loser. Learn some new tricks. You can't con a conner. Yeah, get to stepping. Get out of here. Walk of shame. 
Man, that felt good. What the, that was wrong. Wrong? Come on, buddy. There's nothing wrong about this. Look, have a cookie. It makes I, I, I don't want. I don't want. I, I, I want to cook it. It tastes good, right? It's the taste of victory. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. They kind of taste like shit. But look, we got eight dollars. You know, we just do that a few more times. We'll have like twenty bucks. Well, oh, who's that? Another chump! Who's ready to go broke? Hey there. Oh, uh, hey. Well, Goodman. You know this chump? Uh, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I run the Girl Scout Cookie Foundation, and two of my girls showed up with no money and no cookies, saying that they were robbed. <laughs> robbed, yeah, okay. You should tell your little con artist to get better at playing pool. Pardon me? Yeah, they came ringing our doorbell and saying they were the best pool players there were. And we showed them, didn't we, Marvin? Uh, but not really. So you guys were playing pool? Yeah, you good? I'm really good. Okay, well put your money where your mouth is. Okay. Alright, come on in. $100,000 that I win. Marvin, Marvin, we're gonna win $100,000. I don't think we should do this. What are you talking about? Your son's a god. Of course we're gonna win. Well, what if we don't win? We're not gonna lose. So where's your $100,000? Uh, we, we have $100,000, don't worry. Are you sure? Because all I see is $8 and a bag of my cookies. Well, that, 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 that's just chump change. Don't worry, we got it. We don't have $100,000. Shut up, he doesn't need to know that. So who wants to break? Oh, we do, we do, we want to break. Jeffy, come break! Let me show you how it's done. Woohoo! Yeah, go Jeffy! Alright, prepare to lose. No, 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 Marvin, we might lose! I just gotta line up my shot. Oh my god, Marvin, I think we're gonna lose. No, 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 he could miss this shot. It's a very long shot. Why didn't all of Jeffy's balls go in? Because your stupid cookie crumbs affected the ball. Damn it, they're not even that good! And bingo was his name of. <laughs> fuck. So how much money did you make, Marvin? We lost $100,000. What? You don't have $100,000! Well, I didn't lose it. Brooklyn guy bet it, so he lost it. How's he gonna pay that back? I don't know. Hey, Danny, look. My head's a washing machine. Who's that? Hello? Hey. Say the thing! Hello, I'm selling Girl Scout cookies. Would you like to buy some? Wait, why are you doing this? I gotta make back that $100,000 somehow. Please buy some cookies. Stop it! <laughs> Marvin, Marvin, Marvin! Can we please go see Trailer Park Danny? Who's Trailer Park Danny? He's a famous country singer! But you don't listen to country music! Sure I do, but I only listen to Trailer Park Danny! I don't think we should waste our money on Trailer Park tickets. But Marvin, please! He's coming into town with his sister, who's also his wife. His sister's his wife? That's disgusting! No, Marvin! Just watch one music video! You'll fall in love with the sound of his voice! Ah! Jeffy, I'm trying to watch this thing! Stop it! My sexy sister, I sure wanna kiss her, I want to lick those pretty yellow teeth and grab a few beers and get in my truck, we can go mudding and hope we don't get stuck. Cause I'm a cousin wrecking tractor, pulling corn, growing bull riders, son of a gun, son of a gun. Cause I'm a shine tripping, knee slapping, lasso throwing, cow tripping, son of a gun. See, Marvin, isn't he amazing? Even the kitty cat liked him. Where'd that cat come from? He has the voice of an angel, Marvin. That's why I have to see him in concert. Well, how much are the tickets? $500 for the front row. $500? Please, Marvin! No! <laughs> oh, you made Mommy cry, and now you're going to the bad place. Hell. Why'd you whisper hell? Because it's a bad word, and you're not supposed to say shit like that. You just said the S word. No, I didn't. You're a liar, and liars go to hell. Jeffy, shut up. Well, Danny, I could become a country singer, and then I could sing for mommy for free. You don't have a country voice, Jeffy. Yes, I do, Danny. Watch. I voted for Trump. Build the wall. Where'd that voice come from? It's my country voice, Danny, and watch this. Alabama football team, roll tight, Nick 7, 24 card, Jeff Gordon, 93 octane's the best octane, yeehaw. Wh what? And the saddest day of my life was when Dale Earnhardt crashed the car into the wall, and the car burst into flames, and he died right there, and that was the saddest day of NASCAR ever, and NASCAR NASCAR's never been the same since. But don't get me wrong, Dale Earnhardt Jr. can drive the fuck out of a race car. And don't even get me started on Hamburger Helper. I'll eat that shit up. All right, Jeffy, I guess you do have a good country voice. So if you go make a song, maybe she'll like it. All right, Danny. I just got to call my cousin so I can make out with her while watching Old Yeller. Jerry Moon!
on! Hey, Daddy, what you up to? Jeffy, what's this ridiculous outfit? Well, I just got back from the stew cooking up some hot beets. So hot, I could fry an egg on my sister's ass. Yummy! What? Yeah, Daddy, I made a music video and a song. Well, let me see it. All right, here you go. Check it. This song goes out to my beautiful sister. We've been married for six years. I love you, baby. I love my sister, yes I do. Yeehaw! I love my sister cause she's prettier than you. Oh, I like NASCAR and drinking beer. I like mud and shooting deer. Got two teeth, well come on here. My truck's lit, there's nothing to fear. You like big trucks, I'll give you a ride. Alabama football, roll tide. My mama's cooking, tastes so good. Don't talk to me if you live in the hood. I love my sister, yes I do. I love my sister, she's my cousin too. Jeffy, turn that off. What's wrong, Daddy? That song was very inappropriate. Well, that's what country singers sing about. The only thing I didn't mention was losing my dog or my wife leaving me, but I'll sing about that in the next song. Jeffy, do not release that song. Too late, Daddy. Already did. Now every trailer park princess from Mississippi to Alabama will be wanting to lick my beanies and suck my weenies. Rich, Jeffy, shut up. <laughs> Who's that? Hello? Hey, I'm big time record label manager Steve Stauberger. Is Jeffy here? Yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, you must be his father. Your son's gonna be huge, I tell ya, huge! Wait, really? Oh yeah, let me come inside and we'll talk business. Okay, okay come on in. So here's Jeffy. Hey there, Sonny, you ready to be a star? Piggly Wingly! I'll take that as a yes! Wait, 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 hold on, what's going on? Well, Jeffy released this new single and all the country bumpkins are going crazy over so the record label wants to offer him a five million dollar deal. Here's the cash. What? Well, that's a lot of cash. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. What does Jeffy have to do for that money? Oh, you know, just the usual. Sell his likeliness, his face, his voice. Pretty much sell his soul. Jeffy, would you sell your soul for five million dollars? Yes. And just in case you didn't hear me, Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Why does the record label want Jeffy? Why are they offering him so much money? Well, the record label wants to replace Trailer Park Danny with someone new, someone younger, someone sexier. So the record label wants to replace Trailer Park Danny with Jeffy? I hate Trailer Park D Danny because my, my wife loves him and I want him gone. Yeah, they sure do. All he has to do is say yes. For the third time. Yes. Yes, we'll take the deal. All right, take your money. See you later. <gasps> Jeffy, look at all this cash. <laughs> Jeffy! What? Who's at the door? Hold on, Jeffy, count the cash. Make sure they didn't leave any behind. <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't. <laughs> Hello? Hey there, does that Jeffy feller live here? Wait, you're Trailer Park Danny. Sure am, and this here's my beautiful sister Charlene. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. You think she's pretty? Uh, yeah, she's very pretty. Well, don't go getting no ideas, mister. Her teeth are mine to lick. Shoot! Wait, uh, no, actually, I don't really think she's that attractive. You think my sister's ugly? You take that! No, no, she's actually very hot. Okay, okay. Well, hey, listen, mister, we need to talk to that Jeffy fella. Well, he's upstairs, so come on in. All right. Hey, Jeffy, Trailer Park Danny wants to talk to you. Does you want to see my cash? I got a bone to pick with you, Jeffy. Well, I got your bone right here. Tell me why the record label calls me on my telephone saying they gave all my money to you. Because I'm the shit? More like piece of shit. Now, I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose my damn trailer, my pig, my boat. And now my sister's talking about leaving me. I never leave you, brother. You better not, because I'll tell Mom. Don't you tell Mama. Oh, I sure would, she'd throw your ass down in the well. Well, damn. Wait, is she really, like, your real sister? Hell yeah, we're fraternal twins. We shared a womb, now we share a room. Yeah, yeah. We got married at the family reunion. Hell yeah, and I'll tell you what, she was the prettiest girl there. Before I knew it, I was proposing to her at the county fair. Man, was she looking pretty sitting there bobbing for apples? She had one on each tooth. I had more teeth back then. Then before I knew it, I was on one knee proposing. And I'll tell you what, she said yes faster than a red water pig scarfing out a chili dog, hell yeah, row tide. Okay, I think we're getting off topic. What are you wanting from Jeffy? I want half his damn money. No! Well, yeah, he earned this money. No, he didn't. He wrote one country song. I wrote 53 about Sister Lickin'. Okay, listen, listen, listen. The, the record label said that you're old news. Old news? I'll show you old news. You'll rue the day you met in Trailer Park Dan, Jeffy. Come on, sister, let's get out of here. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, well, just remember to wipe back to front. Always do. I'll meet you in the truck. Uh... Daddy, she's so sexy. No, she's not. The, the bathroom's down there. He's hot. 
No, 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 listen, the bathroom's that way. You should go use the bathroom. Dad, do you think she'll date me? Wait, no, you should ask her. Would you date my son? Sure would! Oh, F yeah. All right, baby, go wait in my room. Danny, I'm gonna knock those teeth out. What? You count the cash. No, no, don't count the, I thought you already counted the cash. Danny, I don't know how to count. You count the cash, I'm gonna go get some ass. What the it, stop it! Oh my God. Oh, that is a lot of money. What in the hell's taking Charlene so long to use a damn turtle? I'm gonna go check on her. Charlene! I checked the bathroom, I didn't see you in there. You get lost? Charlene! Charlene, you in here? Sister! Oh, brother! Jumpy! You cheating on me with this inbred? He ain't even family. Well, he looks like one of us. Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go get famous again. I'm gonna leave your ass on the curb. Ah, oh, shoot. You're old news. I hope you're enjoying me and daddy's sloppy thirds. You won't ever leave me, will ya? Uh, no promises, but if I find somebody else with one more tooth than you, then maybe. Deal! Alright, now you hop back on these beanies and weenies. Four million nine hundred ninety thousand? Five million. All five million dollars is there. Oh my god, we can buy whatever we want. Our lives are gonna change forever. What? The news? <laughs> Breaking news, MK, okay. Trailer Park Danny, who's being called Old News, is now New News because he just released a hit new song featuring the new upcoming black country singer, BLT. We will now play the music video for you. I'm really sad, my sister cheated on me, I don't know why she would do this to me, I want her to come back. And only love me, but looks like she doesn't love me. Oh hell nah! Don't be sad, Trailer Park Danny. There's more sisters in the family tree. Ha. That's right, you don't need that hoe. It's time to let her go. Go and date your cousin, man. She's a tenfold show. You got plenty other sisters. Put them in a row. My truck is stuck in the mud. Could you give me a tow? That's right, I don't need that hoe. Throw her in the road. I got a sister with a big tongue. She looks like a toad. Forget them yellow teeth. Want them while I cut commode. I have so many cousins, I have a whole truckload. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Danny. You gotta keep it in the family. Ha! Just cause she your sister don't mean she don't miss you. Ha ha! Give her that pipe you know she like. Skirt! Roll tide. Well, good thing we still have all this money. Hey there, enjoying all that money? Yeah, I sure am. Well, you never really signed anything, so see ya. Wait, wait, hey! You can't just take our money! What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Me and BFT are on top of the world. Damn right, Danny. You better tell them. They just came in here and took all my money. You mean my money. I bet you wish you took that deal now, you would have still had half. Now I'm going to get my sister back. Jeffy, I love you. Woo, brother. What's up, homie? Other brother. Hey, sis. What you doing here? Oh, you ain't heard the news? I'm a superstar. Love me, brother. Uh, 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 you got to go through BLT first. Yeah, you know what BLT? T stands for black lettuce and tomato, and I got a BBC for you. <laughs> I don't know what a BBC sandwich is, but I know what a BLT is. Come on, sis. Gosh darn it. Yeah, come taste this BBC with no condiments. Um, Daddy, where'd my money go? The guy took it. Can't you just make another country song and we get famous again? Well, I don't know, Daddy, because I don't have a country voice. You've been doing it all day. No, I haven't. Try it, Jeffy. All right, I'll try. <clears throat> babu, bap, bap, babu. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it, you're being annoying. I'm bored, Danny, so I'm smacking my dapper. Jeffy, how about you just blow a bubble? No bubble? Yeah, you blow a bubble with this. I uh, don't. Look, you grab that stick and you put it in the liquid and then you blow it. <laughs> no, you gotta blow it like <laughs> No, like <laughs> No, Jeffy, you gotta blow it like <sighs> He doesn't know how to do it. Here, Jeffy, just do this. Why does it do that? Because she blew bubbles, so if you could just blow it like, it would work. So put more liquid on it. Liquid. Yeah, put more liquid. Now blow, no, blow it. Like, Jeffy, blow it. No more. The right way. Jeffy, come on. Hurry up. Do it right. Do it right. Like this. Ow! You got in my eye, you whore. No, Guys, look the news. Breaking news, okay? I am retired.
retiring from being a news anchor. I've been doing it for over 15 years, and sadly, my time has come to an end. So this is Mr. Goodman signing off for the last time. Okay. Aw, the news guy's retiring? That's so sad. He was so good at the news. I know. Who are they going to get to replace him? Look, they're about to tell us. Hey there. Have you always wanted to be a news anchor? Well, now we have a position open. So come on down to the news station if you think you got what it takes. Marvin, they're looking for a new news anchor? You should apply for that job. I mean, I do have a shirt and tie and a mustache. Yeah, Marvin, you look perfect. You know what? I am going to apply for that job. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Can I come? Only if you don't put that thing in your nose. Come on. Oh, wow. A real life news studio. Hey there. You hear about the news anchor position? I sure am. I even brought my own tie. Oh, yeah. We like ties around here. See, I even have one. Well, why don't you be the news anchor? Oh, no. No, I could never. I'm no good on camera. I get too nervous. I gotta do red leather, yellow leather just so I don't stumble over my words. And also, the camera adds 10 pounds. Like this one time, my ex-wife went on TV and the camera added 200 pounds. God, that was a huge bitch. Hey, when do I get my final paycheck? Uh, Susan? Yes, sir. When does he get his final paycheck? It will be mailed in two weeks. Mail? That's so slow! Wait, Goodman, why do you want to stop being the news anchor? You're so good at it. Marvin, I'm a trillionaire. I don't need this $50,000 a year anchor job. Oh, and by the way, you're still an intern, so be at my office at 8 a.m. Oh, so you already have a job. Well, no, I'm an intern. Well, a forced intern. I want a job that pays money. Oh, well, if you think you got what it takes, let's see what you got, hot sauce. Yeah, show us what you got. Yeah, let's hear your best breaking news. Well, uh, what, what do I say? Doesn't matter. Make up a new story. Okay, okay, I got one. Breaking news! Uh, on the way here, I lost my wallet and couldn't find it, but I turned around and kept looking. No. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. No, no, we did not like that at all. Well, what's wrong? Well, first of all, that story was so boring it made me want to kill myself. <laughs> and also, you didn't start with breaking news mm K, which we're kind of used to around here. Can I try? No, you yes, can't. Yes, anything to get that taste out of my mouth. Breaking news mm K! A CC's Pizza employee got caught shitting in the wings again! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we like that story very much. Mm -hmm. We were very pleased with that story. Mm -hmm. You can tell by our big smiles. Our big goofy grins. Wait, 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 wait that story doesn't even make any sense. Cece's Pizza doesn't even have wings. Well, they should, but look, it doesn't matter. I like his energy, and the story was entertaining, and it raises so many questions. Like, why didn't they fire him after the first time he shat in the wings? Well, the story's made up! Well, Jeffy, you've got the job. Wait, he doesn't even have a shirt and tie. Oh, we'll get him a shirt and tie. Susan, get this man a shirt and tie. We go live in five. But, sir, that's not enough time! I said suit and tie! Okay! She'll be back with a suit and tie. Almost done. Almost done! Get the way! Just, get just, the way. Just let it do it, Jeffy. Get the way. But how to? He doesn't want. He doesn't want it, Susan. Just, just go. Okay. Can somebody get him a comb or a brush or something for that shit he calls hair? I got it. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, Jeffy. We're gonna go live soon. All you gotta do is just read what's on the teleprompter. Okay. Got it. Okay. We're going live in three, two, one. We're live. <laughs> Jeffy, what the fuck was that? I got scared! Well, you can't do this job if you're gonna get scared. I don't like the camera looking at me. It looks like a giant eyeball. Well, it has to look at you. That's part of the job. Well, I don't like it. Turn it off and I can do the news. No, you have to be on the camera. Marvin, what are we gonna do? How about you hire me to be the news anchor? No, I don't want the whole nation to kill themselves out of boredom. We could try distracting him with this giraffe stuffed animal. That's not gonna work. Oh, the giraffe! The giraffe! Give me him it! Right here! Oh, yeah, give him the giraffe. Okay, oh, okay. oh, here. Hey, I got me a Mr. Giraffe doing here, everybody. Whoa, dude. I got me a Giraffe. Uh, okay, uh, Jeffy, can, can you do the news now? Yeah, I can do the news, but my Giraffe has to be on camera with me. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, okay, we go live in three, two, one. We're live. Hey, everybody. Look, I got a Mr. Giraffe toy. What sound does a Giraffe make? <laughs> Jeff, Jeffy, read, read, read the prompter. Read, read the teleprompter. Giraffe! <laughs> You know what? Take, take, take away the giraffe. Okay, give me the giraffe. No! Give me no! the giraffe. It's give me the giraffe. Ah! Cut, cut, go to commercial, commercial, commercial. Okay, Jeffy, the giraffe is going to stay right here. You can look at him, but just don't touch him and read the teleprompter, okay? Okay, I think I can do it now. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're live in three, two, one. We're live. At least read the prompter if you're gonna do that. Breaking news, you can't. Jeffy, speak louder. We can't hear you. Breaking, breaking louder. news. Bre breaking news. Jeff, Jeffy, louder. Breaking news. Bre breaking news, you can't. A CC's pizza employee. That's not the story. Jeffy, that's not the story. Cut, cut, go to commercial. 
Jeffy, we can't keep doing this shit. We don't have enough commercials to cut away to. If you don't get it right on the next try, you're fired. How about you let me try? Because you suck, okay? And you two are the only ones who showed up for the job, so it has to be him. So, Jeffy, look, if you can do it right on the next try, you can keep the giraffe. Really? Yes, but you have to read the teleprompter. Okay, I can do it this time. I got some breaking news for you. Okay, we go live in three, two, one, go. Breaking news, MK! A second plane has hit the South Tower! Cut it, cut it, that's it, cut it, Jeffy, you're fired. Marvin, go ahead. Yes, I finally get a shot! Oh man, I'm so excited! Okay, Marvin, I'll count you in. We're live in three, two, one, go. Breaking news, MK! So, like at Walmart, they have a sale on toilet paper. If you buy 12 super mega rolls of toilet paper, it's as if you bought 72 mega rolls, because that's a lot of toilet paper. So you could you could get that, and don't get me started on the paper towels. That they have a lot of those too. If you want to sell on those, they I think the rolls are bigger. They count more. Marvin, get the fuck out of my newsroom. But I'm still live. I know. I don't care. I want them to know how boring you are. Mm -hmm. You're fired, both mm -hmm. of you. <sighs> Sorry, America. I would ask how your day was, Marvin, but I saw it on the news. Was I really that bad? You were a lot bad, Marvin. How did I do, Mommy? You were a lot good, Jeffy. Guys, guys, I made a huge mistake. <gasps> you want to hire me back? You? God, no. Hell no. But Jeffy, I need him back. What, what, what are you talking about? I got the TV ratings back, Marvin. Look at this. See, Goodman, our original anchor, he was just okay. A lot okay. And you, Marvin, you were bad. A lot bad. You see how a lot bad you are down there? But Jeffy, he was a lot good good. At a certain point, he became more good than he was a lot. He just kept getting better and better while staying just as a lot. What does that mean? Well, that means that Jeffy's a huge hit and we need him back. Jeffy, are you going to come back on the news? Only if Mr. Giraff can do the news with me. Well, of course he can. People loved it a lot. Well, no, no, no. You kept cutting the commercial. He was a disaster. Marvin, the TV ratings have spoken. Come on, Jeffy. What? It's not even real ratings. You just drew that with a sharpie. Oh, we are back, baby. I hope we get more a lot good ratings. Oh, we're going to get the best a lot ratings now that Jeffy's back. Okay, Jeffy, forget the teleprompter this time. I want you to just make shit up. Whatever pops into your head, go nuts, okay? All right, we go live in three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, hey everyone. This is the news. My name's Jeffy, okay? And my giraffe has a stinky pooper. Speaking of stinky, Trash trucks are loud, and they wake me up in the morning. So if they could come in the afternoon, that would be great. And in other news, hell What the hell is this? This can't be better than me. Marvin, it's way better than you. Jeffy's doing a great job. What? He's not even saying news. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. He's an artist with the news. Mm -hmm. We're going to win a Pulitzer Prize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, hell no. I'm not going to watch this every day. I'm going to call Goodman and tell him what's going on. All right, Jeffy, cut. That was the best news day we've ever had. I mean, we didn't actually talk about anything happening in the world today, but that was so very a lot good. What the hell's going on here? Mr. Goodman. I turn on the news and I see shit. But, but sir, our TV ratings are very, very a lot good. I own the news, and I don't care about the ratings being very a lot good. The news is about delivering high-quality information to our viewers, so I'm back at anchor. Jeffy, you get the hell out of here. B -b 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 <laughs> no buts! We're going live in five, and someone get this goddamn giraffe out of my face! Breaking news, okay? I'm back, bitches! Sorry for whatever you had to watch for the last hour. Hey, Mommy and Daddy. I lost my job. Marvin, how could you do that to him? But I got to keep my giraffe well, I, The news was bad, and I wanted the news to be right. But it was entertaining, Marvin! It was not entertaining. <laughs> Jeffy, blow it right, correctly, the right way. Jeffy, stop it. Maybe Mr. Zidorov can do it. No, Jeffy, he's a stuffed animal. He can't blow bubbles.
Es un río siempre fluyendo, con cada cambio seguimos creciendo. A veces es calma, a veces tormenta en cada, en cada giro de la vida nos enfrenta, cambiando con la vida, como las hojas al viento, encontrando nuestro camino en cada momento, momento, a través de las sesiones, a través del tiempo. Cambiando con la vida en su eterno movimiento. Eh, oh, oh, oh. Cada amanecer trae una nueva oportunidad de dejar atrás el miedo, de buscar la verdad. Con cada paso dado aprendemos a vivir. La vida nos transforma, nos hace Y aunque el camino sea incierto y el futuro no se vea claro, con el cambio encontramos nuestro verdadero fao. En cada desafío, en cada prueba, la vida nos moldea, nos lleva. Con todo mi ser, un lugar de alegría 